Veganism is a growing trend in the world, and many people are curious and have lots of questions. Today, we're going to answer 10 questions that every vegan needs to answer. What is the difference between vegan, vegetarian, and plant-based? Where do vegans get protein? What are the top seven vegan foods that make you gain weight? How do you eat cheap when eating out? I understand why vegans don't eat meat, but why don't vegans eat dairy or eggs? How are animal products destroying rainforests? What are the dangers of eating dairy? Is raw vegan always healthy? Why are some people against veganism? And what are the three easy steps to going vegan? The information today is given free out of the course 7 Steps, The Beginner's Guide to Going Vegan. Going vegan for 30 days while learning how to save money on food, control weight, why vegan is great for society, the economy and the planet, and many other important topics. If you want to know more, we'll give some information about the course and the discount voucher at the end of this video. Let's move on to the first question. What is the difference between vegan, vegetarian and plant-based? Vegan means that you don't eat any animal products, including meat, fish, chicken, eggs, dairy and milk. Vegetarian means you don't eat meat. Plant-based means you try to avoid animal products as much as possible, but it's not as strict as vegan. An example is the diet of the people of Okinawa, Japan, where animal products are only 6% of the foods. Where do vegans get protein? A protein is a polymer chain of amino acids linked by peptide bonds. In simple English, this means that proteins are essentially made of amino acids. When digested, the body breaks them down to those amino acids and uses those as its building blocks to create its own proteins. The daily intake is recommended 56 grams a day for men and 45 for women. It can be dangerous to get too much protein. It should end up being around 10% of the daily calorie intake. Amino acids and vegan protein are commonly found in many fruits and vegetables like the ones listed here. What are the top 7 vegan foods that make you gain weight? For some people, gaining control over their weight actually means gaining a few pounds. For others, it's about knowing which foods to eat in moderation. Each person is different and our absorption and digestion works differently. Here are some vegan foods that will cause you to gain weight. It's easy to eat high quantities of them. Avocado, nuts and nut butters, seeds like flax seeds and chia seeds, tahini, vegetable oils including olive oil, dried fruits because you can eat a lot of them in one go, and starches. How do you eat out cheap when eating out as a vegan? Eating out doesn't always have to cost more. Certain vegan-friendly fast food chains have easy, cheap meals. There are great apps and websites that list vegan restaurants and cafes based on location. The big ones are Happy Cow app and website, Vegman app, VanillaBean.com, and if you're in the UK, uk.veganuary.com slash eating dash out. In addition, many kebab places have a variety of freshly chopped vegetable salads with homemade dressings like hummus and tahini. If you're going out to a restaurant, you'll find that certain vegan options cost far less than meat. If you find that you are dragged into somewhere expensive, you can always eat at home first to ruin your appetite, and then just order a side salad or tea. If all else fails, you can always make your meal a tapas. Look at the sides, appetizers, kids menu and wraps and build your own meal from the vegan options there. I understand why vegans don't eat meat, but why don't vegans eat dairy or eggs? This one has to do with people who eat a vegan diet to avoid animal cruelty. Most people know that animals grown for production live a tragic, short life. They are kept in tiny spaces or cages stacked one upon the other and are fed hormones to increase their growth rates. Dairy cows are always kept pregnant to produce milk. They will live only 4 years and not 20. 
Once the calf is born, for which the milk is produced, it's taken away from the mother. With eggs, only female chicks would grow to lay eggs when they are adult chickens. The male chicks are killed at infancy in a way we won't mention on this video, but we suggest you look it up. This is also true for organic or free ranch eggs. How are animal products destroying rainforests? According to the Food and Agricultural Organization of the United Nations, the livestock sector is the world's largest user of land. It uses 80% of all agricultural land in the world for growing animals and growing crops to feed them. It is also one of the fastest growing parts of agriculture. 26% of non-Iceland in the world is used for grazing animals. The biggest user of crop-based feed globally is poultry. There are 23 billion chickens, turkeys, geese, ducks, and guinea fowl on the planet, more than three per person. Every second, one to two acres of rainforest are cleared for grazing livestock and growing animal feed. That's like seven football fields a minute. A plant-based diet requires only one third of the land. What are the dangers of eating dairy? Animal protein causes the body to produce high levels of certain hormones and chemicals, which increase the rates of cancer, inflammation, and cholesterol plaques in blood vessels. It's also harsh on kidneys and liver, and in addition, animal protein creates an acidic state, which the body resolves by taking calcium away from the bones. Dairy. It has high levels of animal protein. Casein, the animal protein found in milk, increases risk of cancer development. In addition to the problems mentioned before, the animal protein fragments found in dairy can create an autoimmune condition leading to type 1 diabetes and multiple sclerosis. Hormones found in dairy are related to hormone-dependent cancers, ovarian, uterine, breast, testicular, and prostate. Men can also absorb the estrogen in the milk, which significantly decreases their testosterone. In addition, Milk exposes people to antibiotic residue from livestock treatment. Is raw vegan always healthy? The simple answer is, it depends on what you eat. Some raw vegans like to have a very high content of heavy foods in their diet, like fatty foods, like avocado, acidic foods, like nuts and seeds in their unsprouted form, fermented foods, and even processed foods, like cold-pressed oils and manufactured ingredients. These foods don't need to be avoided, of course, but keeping a healthy limit is necessary to ensure the diet is healthy. Why are some people against veganism? There are a few reasons. One, they are misinformed about the benefits or they heard negative information about it. Two, they have a vegan or vegetarian friend that is very preachy and makes them uncomfortable. Three, they tried it and had a bad experience because they didn't do it based on knowledge. 4. They come from a heavy meat-eating culture and have grown up believing that there are social benefits to eating animal products. 5. They feel that they need to say that they can eat anything. 6. They feel that veganism is against their economic beliefs. They see veganism as a poor person diet for people who can't afford meat, or the opposite, an elite, snobbish diet for people who want to imitate celebrities. 7. They're generally resistant to change, and deep down, they actually want to become vegan. What are the three easy steps to go vegan? There are three things that you need to do in order to make it easy for you to go vegan. First, you have to understand what is vegan and why you're doing it. Then, you have to know the basics for how to eat a healthy, balanced diet that will keep you full and ensure you don't get into deficiencies. This will also stop cravings that make it less easy for some. Then, most importantly, you need to make it fun. Being vegan is about what you can try that you haven't tried before. It's about making the first step today, keeping the budget reasonable, learning where to eat out and how to be vegan around your friends and family, and how to really treat yourself when you are on this fun and tasty journey. These answers were taken from the different lessons in 7 Steps, an easy gradual way to learn about being vegan while covering all the aspects and the most important questions about veganism.
Everything in the course is based on thorough research with references to the experience of qualified vegan nutritionists and doctors. Students also get to choose between three 30-day meal plans with recipes, going at different levels, including a transition plan. The course answers over 100 questions about veganism, like What are the eight ways to save money on a vegan diet? What are the six easy methods to control your weight? How come certain people eat the exact same foods, but it affects them completely differently? Where do you get protein, iron, calcium, and B12? How do animal products hurt poor people, destroy forests, and cause global warming? How do you tell friends and family that you are going vegan? How do you eat out as a vegan? How do you raise vegan kids and how do you bring vegan into your own home? How do you deal with the 10 challenges of remaining vegan in the long run? What is detox and why do raw vegans not cook their food? To learn more about the course and get a discount voucher, visit www.romancheese.org slash 7stepsvegan.